This is the new me. We tend to think that our lives have a beginning, middle, and an end. But I'm here to say that that's not true. C'est faux. On peut vivre mille histoires à la fois, chaque seconde dans une seule pièce même. No matter what they say, it's never too late to start all over. A clean slate, as long as you're breathing. Imagine becoming freer and freer each day until you're floating like a balloon, unattached to any worldly things, flying closer and closer to the sun until one day, you go out with a loud pop. Sometimes all it takes is a haircut, a small, insignificant action to feel that this is once again our, our future body, our existence. Discovering that each cause has its effect, that the warmth of the sun can melt blocks of ice, or that a light breeze can send grains of sand flying from our fingertips. Tout est temporel. If I'm sharing these things with you, it's because what they don't teach us in school is that vulnerability is the sixth sense. Vulnerability is a superpower. I have a gift for you. For all the years I've worn this hair, I've loved you. Hey you guys, so it's now the next day since I've cut my hair and to kind of celebrate this new me, I guess. Um, I've decided to take myself on a little date around Paris. I'm gonna go on one of the boat rides so we can take a scenic tour of the city. And then after that, I'm gonna go to one of the oldest cinemas in Paris called Le Champou because they're playing um, a really good film tonight. So I thought that I would take you guys along with me. And yeah, we'll just have a really amazing day together in the sun.
So in light of taking ourselves on dates and treating ourselves, I've made a list of ideas of artist dates that you can take yourself on whether you live in a big city or in a small town. You can take a bus or train to a random town nearby, spend the day there wandering. You can buy an over-the-top dress at the thrift store, then throw an imaginary tea party and invite three people, dead or alive, you admire. Think of the questions you'd ask them if they were really there. Laugh, have fun. You can write five anonymous love letters and scatter them around town. You can go to a local museum or park and sketch for an hour. You can buy a disposable camera and take dramatic self-portraits in places you frequent around your town. Pack a night picnic and go to the beach. Stargaze and listen to the waves. You can buy some cheap watercolors and paint your dream vacation getaway. You can imagine what your life would be like had you lived 200 years ago. Write out a day in your life. And the list goes on and on and on and on, as far as your imagination can go. Whatever you end up doing, I hope that you laugh and have fun and learn to love yourself a little bit more in the process. All right, you guys, I'm so stoked because I just found this beautiful park and I have my food with me and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have a chat and some quality time together. But before then, I wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Audible. I'm literally so excited about this because I love audiobooks so much. I just love the idea that you can learn while you're doing other stuff. And like even today on the boat, even though I was technically alone, I didn't feel alone because I was listening to a book that was inspiring to me. Which I would really recommend it to you guys. It's called The Artist's Way. And one of the reasons why I do artist state and I think it has made such a big difference in my life and really has shaped me as a person. So if you guys don't know what Audible is, it's a service where they have the biggest selection of audiobooks on the planet. With the new year, I feel like it really is the perfect way to get inspired as they have a huge selection from self-help material to fiction and poetry and even Audible originals which are exclusive audio titles from storytellers from around the world. So if you want to try out Audible, please use my code. You just go to audible.com slash purplepalace or you can text Purple Palace to 500 500. They're offering a free audiobook when you try Audible for 30 days. And if you end up not liking the book, you can swap it out for another one. Take advantage of it by going to audible.com slash Purple Palace or text Purple Palace to 500 500. All right, you guys, so I just got off the boat. It was so amazing to do that. Just to be able to sit there and just like chill and have like that breeze in my face with like this beautiful, beautiful weather and everything was just so, so amazing. I think it's so important to treat yourself like as I was talking about earlier. And like I said, even if you're not living in like a big city, you can always do something like, you know, a craft with yourself. Let me know in the comms what you guys plan on, what kind of date you plan on taking yourself on, if you plan on taking yourself on a date. I also think it's really important each day to do something, not necessarily to embarrass yourself, but to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. Like, I mean, for me personally, just like sitting here with like a park in front of a bunch of people watching me like film myself, <laughs> it's not like something that you're used to, you know, but little by little, you just stop giving fucks, you know? Actually, you know what? I think one of the reasons it's so hard to film in public isn't necessarily because like I'm embarrassed, but I'm so like scared someone's gonna steal my camera and like run up and like spy, you know? <laughs> has happened to me before. So I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit because I feel like I haven't done that in like a second. I just feel like it's like this year is like starting to go by so quickly and I like so in the beginning of the year I was talking about some stuff that I was manifesting. One of the things that I was actually manifesting 
c'était de partir en vacances parce que l'année dernière je fais aucune vacances. Et du coup j'ai l'opportunité avec mon Nicole de partir euh, en Maroc pour, pendant 10 jours. They're gonna pay for like the lodgement, the plane tickets, the food, and we're doing like a partner with one of the other art schools there. We're gonna do like camping in the desert. So it's gonna be like a really unique experience. That's gonna be in April, that's exciting, that's coming up. Um, there's like some dudes looking at me, I'm about to like bust a cap. Go away. Don't make eye contact. And yeah, another thing that I forgot to add that I really, really am passionate about and want to do is start profiling like creatives, not just like people from like art school, but people who are kind of like starting out and going at it on their own. Because I feel like it's one of those things when you finish school, it's kind of difficult to know like where to start. I mean, that's kind of stuff that they don't teach you in school. So I already have someone in mind. She's a friend of mine who is um, a self-made stylist. So I want to kind of follow her around, interview her, maybe some other creatives like costume designers, just different like sectors of art and just kind of see what their life is like. So let me know if that would interest you guys. So I know tonight I said I was gonna go to the movies because I just love old movie theaters. There's like something about them. It's just like, it's just like a feeling, you know, when you like get dressed up and you go to the movies, but being on that boat, man, like I took some sun. I felt kind of like, like that was a lot, you know? And so <laughs> it's so like nice out too. I feel bad wasting the day. It's so rare for us to have weather like this. And in Paris, you never know when it's gonna like go go back to how it was and like be cold or whatever so I asked my friend Edwina <laughs> why am I pronouncing her name like that? <laughs> Edwina, she's like my American friend if she wanted to go have like a picnic by the sun and everything so yeah hopefully she goes back to me and we'll do that tonight because it is just like a magical time to be here normally in winter I get kind of deprimé, a little depressed because it is just like so sad especially for like a Florida girl and yeah if not I guess I'll just end it here and have my salad or whatever I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you guys got to enjoy seeing me cut my hair which is like a very weird experience because like normally when you cut your hair I feel like obviously you can see what you're doing so like just blindly doing that I felt just like very liberating another one of those things where I was like you just envie de faire quelque chose qui me fait un peu peur tu vois enfin je me suis réveillée dans la matinée je me suis dit j'ai envie de faire ça tu vois yeah, I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hope you enjoyed sharing this moment with me and I'm gonna eat my salad. Yeah.